What's going on everybody? I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Welcome back to yet another video. Hope all of you guys are having a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. We're doing a little vlog here today. Gonna show you guys a little trip I took to my grandmother's lawn. That's right, you guys probably haven't heard about that in a while. Gonna be taking a little trip over there, showing you guys what that lawn is looking like here in the month of October. And I'm also gonna show you guys the two week results of an application that I did earlier, back earlier this month. I'm gonna show you guys the two week results of that. And I'm also gonna show you guys the cocktail of how I got to that. But before we get into the meat of anything, first things first, I just wanna say to all of you guys that have been watching me for this time, I just wanna say, thank you. Recently here on the channel, we just hit 30,000 subscribers. That's very awesome. I'm very, very excited about it. And from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank all of you guys. Never did I think I would reach such a milestone in such a quick amount of time. So I just really, really want to say from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all of you guys out there taking the time, watching the videos, telling me how I'm doing. It just means a lot that I'm able to grow up with you guys on camera and teach you guys something that I'm really, really passionate about. It's really, really awesome. I really, really appreciate you guys' support. Another thing I want to talk about is my Instagram. I want to thank all of you guys who've been following me on Instagram. We are so, so close to that 10,000 follower milestone. For those of you guys who don't know, I have a multitude of Instagram accounts that I run, one of them being the Jake the Lawn Kid Instagram account at Jake the Lawn Kid, no capitals, no spaces. And over there, I show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of what goes on here um, at JTLK headquarters. We're making videos, making and vlogs, striping lawns, you name it, it's all up there. And I will say this as a little added bonus for those of you guys who are photographers, if you will, in the lawn care space, you guys like to make properties look cool and all that stuff. You like to blend colors, blend matching tones, especially in the fall because the fall tones are rich. I highly recommend you head over to my Instagram for that, where we're taking all sorts of fall photos left and right and just matching those tones, one photo to another, especially with the rich colors of fall that we are getting this season. So for those of you guys who want to see that, I recommend you head on over there for some more exclusive and crispy behind the scenes content. Now with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and shut up now, roll some footage from my grandmother's lawn. This is in early October here, and then we'll get into the application that changed the color of this lawn in a very little amount of time. So without further ado, let's get into it. It's raining today. Kind of sucks. Kind of happy about it, but it's just good to have the rain back. <sighs> okay, so I'm here at my grandma's house. I want to give you guys a little update and show her show you guys how her lawn looks. I know it's been a while since we've been here. Got a little bit to do here. Don't have a whole lot of battery power left, so unfortunately I can't shoot some B-roll like I want to today, but uh, I did get some B-roll last week, so I'm gonna get this lawn cut, get it cleaned up. In the meantime, let me show you some B-roll of when I was here like two weeks ago, cutting the lawn while it was overgrown. I had my cousin help me out, shot it on my phone, so if it's not too, Quality, if it's not to the normal standards, if you will, forgive me for that. But anyway, I'll see you in a little bit. <sighs>
All right, now let's go ahead and hit the ground running with the application that I told you guys about in the beginning of this video that changed this lawn in a very little amount of time, made it extra double dark. Now this is a cocktail from my good friends over at Green County Fertilizer that I have coined the Double Dark Plus. 1801 Green Punch, 700 Green Effect, 002 Microgreen, and Air Rape. The 1801, we're applying that at 16 ounces per thousand, along with the rest of the line at six ounces per thousand. That's right. 1801 going out at 16 ounces per thousand. That's going to give us about a quarter pound of nitrogen. It's going to give us our nitrogen boost as well as some humic acid in there, which is going to help enhance the overall performance of the existing nutrients that we have in the turf, as well as the light dose of nitrogen we are giving it. And then on top of that, the 700, the one place where that product really, really shines is the iron content. That product contains 7% iron. For those of you guys who don't know what iron is, basically what it is, is it's a micronutrient that supports photosynthesis in the lawn and for lack of a better word, what it does is it gives the grass that double dark blue green look without pushing any additional growth. So if you're looking for a way to maybe make your lawn a little greener during the summertime, that's typically what I would recommend to you guys would be an iron application. Iron is going to be your friend in this particular instance. And the 002 microgreen product, we get a little bit of iron from that as well, which is going to add to that darkening effect. And on top of that, we also get a load of micronutrients, hence the name microgreen green, right? We get a handful of micronutrients. It's a good idea to get those in there as those are going to help enhance the overall performance of the macronutrients. So application of microgreen never hurts. And to finish it off, we have the air rate product, which is going to dive down deep, break bonds in the soil, increase air water nutrient penetration, and allow for deeper root growth to be made from all these products that we are putting down. Okay guys, so here we are about two weeks after that treatment we did there that I'm calling the Double Dark Plus. And this area right here, this is more like the main stage, if you will, of this entire experiment. Cause if we're being honest here, this area looks the best out of everything. Now, looks good over here, but got a lot of imperfections over there, especially with the trampoline moved over there and that fire pit over there. This is more the main stage. This is what looks a little more um, presentable in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right here real quick how much darker the grass has gotten. Now, as you'll see, a lot more leaves here. No need to worry. I'm here to cut today. Gonna chop those down, mulch them, put them back in the ground. And then, uh, yeah, after that, just keep on mowing from here, keep the leaves up, and I think that'll do it here for the season. Also, one more thing I would like to address while I'm here are the weeds, because we do have quite a few that remain within this lawn. I know I sprayed them a little earlier this year with the Metso product, and while that worked, it was probably not my favorite method, because Metso is good, as good as it is, being that you could use it with seed, because it is slow, it is gentle, it works really well, but the only downside to that slower acting is you have to apply it multiple times in order for it to kill everything. So you have to come back every few weeks and reapply until all of the weeds are gone. So while we did get a good portion of them out of here, we still have quite a few. Let me show you that. You can see we got a few right in here. Got some clover again. This is not as much as what we started with. I'll put some pictures up to show you guys that, but you can see we still got a few dandelion a few dandelions in there as well clumping fescue crabgrass all that all right now before we wrap this video up i want to go ahead and answer a question that i get a lot this time of year and that is about spraying broadleaf weeds i get a lot of questions from you guys asking jake i'm noticing some late season dandelions some spurge all that stuff can i go ahead and spray that this fall or would i be better off waiting until spring let me just say this if you're going to spray the weeds this fall it's a great time to do it because during this time this is typically when the grass and all the plants around us are slowing down and because of that they're 
are focusing more of their energy on storing and absorbing energy as opposed to using it to grow, right? So because of that, what that means is anything that you spray on the lawn, it's going to be able to uptake it or intake it a little bit better. And that includes your weed control on the weeds. So if you spray the weeds right now, you're going to get a little bit more of a complete kill. However, there is a little bit of a consequence to doing that. One risk you could run into if you do it while the weather is too cold, meaning it's lower than 40s at night, maybe a little lower than the 60s during the day. One of the problems you can risk is the weed control working a little slower than it's intended to or not working at all. If you're a little on the fence about it, I highly recommend doing it going into next spring. That's typically when it's going to be getting a little bit warmer, longer days are going to be coming back, and that's also when the weeds are going to start sprouting up again. So that's another great time to go ahead and spray those weeds while they're coming up young and not even mature yet. And the second thing I wanna go ahead and touch on is going to be the last application of fertilizer for the season. You guys often hear me talk about winterizers on this channel, getting down the final fertilizer application of the season. Everyone's always asking me, Jake, when is my last fertility application of the season? And I guess it kind of goes back to that video that I did last week where I talked about the final cutting of the season too. A lot of people are confused about when their last lawn cutting is, especially with how confusing the weather pattern is because one day the temperatures are up, another day they're down, another day they're back up, and another day they're back down, right? You're getting this intense fluctuation with the weather. One day it's in the 30s, one day it's in the 50s, and one day it's back down in the 30s. And because of that, it can cause some confusion in figuring out when it's time to completely wrap up your season. So what I would say to you is if you are dealing with this, especially if you live in an area like I do in Northwest Indiana, you could either do one of two things. Number one, you could get this application that I talked about in today's video down and call it quits here because you're gonna be getting plenty here. You're gonna be getting nitrogen and you're also going to be getting a bunch of other goodies in there to help enhance the overall performance of the macronutrients, the micronutrients, and everything that we're putting down. Or if you want, you could play it by ear and see how the weather goes. And if you probably wanna do one last final application of just 1801 in November, you could do that as well. So my friends, that is entirely up to you. Just make sure you're watching the weather. And if you are going to spray that weed control, like I talked about earlier, around 60 during the days, around 40 at night, and you should be good. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. If you have any additional questions, leave those down below as well. And I will get back to those as soon as I can. Oh, and consider subscribing to the channel too. We have a ton of awesome content coming. I know it may seem like the season's over, and Jake's not gonna make any more videos, but my friends, that couldn't be any further from the truth. We are heading into the winter here. We got a ton of awesome content coming up for Christmas here, all through the winter and into next spring of 2021, which includes more further collaborations that I still have yet to announce. So please be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for all of that. Would love to have you here as I continue to grow and educate you guys on how to get the deepest, darkest, greenest, thickest lawn on the block. I'll see you later.